Well, today uh, we're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5, or Z Flip 5, depending on which part of the world you uh, were brought up in. This one is in mint, uh, so it's got a slight minty tinge. Uh, it's very pale, I know, and there's a slight mint hue to the edges of it as well. Um, it also comes in lavender and graphite and cream, uh, which are quite they're sort of subtly different to black and white, the graphite and cream. Uh, so that's the color range this year. Um, but there are other major advances this year, and one of which is uh, this uh, hinge technology. So as you can see there, it folds now completely flat. We don't have that gap. Uh, at the hinge as we used to which all my pocket, pocket fluff and stuff like that used to get into uh, so that's important when we unfold it there uh, you can see that everything folds out nice and flat uh, there is still sort of a noticeable crease in the screen and you can feel that when you're using it uh, but as I've said before with uh, folding devices like this you don't really notice it after you've been you know using it for a while uh, the other big news of course is it'll just uh, unlock it so I can uh, show it uh, to you properly is uh, this very large 3.4 inch uh, flex screen um, so uh, that means that it is much more usable than just a few uh, notifications and things so for example if we go across to the notifications uh, here we can see my uh, preview from my security camera right there on that large uh, 3.4 inch screen if we swipe back the other way you can select to have uh, widgets on there so there's a calendar widget uh, which actually you can display in different ways as just an agenda or they have the calendar page on there as well that all looks doesn't that look lovely it looks nice in there uh, the weather looks lovely well it doesn't look lovely on there today because it's rain 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 and wind Ugh. Um, so you know your activity and then we get to the uh, the really big news is that you've got apps that actually work uh, on the screen apps like your map app so you can you know, go around using your navigation just like that without having to open the phone completely. Um, so yeah, there's only about uh, half a dozen apps max at the moment. Uh, you can you know go onto your uh, texts and your WhatsApps, but um, no uh, Messenger or anything like that, unfortunately. Weirdly, you can do Netflix and you can do YouTube. Now, I'm not quite sure why you want to watch Netflix or YouTube on a 3.4 inch screen, as big as it is. It's not really, you know, open it up and watch the video properly, but anyway, uh, that's an option. I'm assuming that they just haven't got the tech out there to the developers uh, in time for more apps to be available uh, for that uh, flex screen yet, and that more will come, uh, because I would like to have, you know, some of my other um, favorite apps on there. It'd be great to have Google Wallet on there, for example, so you can, uh, um, you know, add your loyalty cards and things like that and scan the barcodes without having to open your phone that sort of thing would be uh, pretty awesome but of course the, um, the other uh, great thing that it means now that we've got this big screen on there is that if we uh, open the camera and uh, turn on the um, preview window there uh, you can see how big the preview window is that's you you're a light in a camera to me but if i um, turn that around so i can see myself and you can see that it's doing the auto framing trick so you know you've got access to uh, all those sort of primary camera uh, functionality uh, on a on a selfie camera as well as the the high quality uh, uh, dual 12 megapixel uh, array on there so it's it's not like super flagship quality though that, that camera yet there's no uh, 50 megapixel lens on there for example which I, which would have been nice but it still does a really really good job and definitely better than most uh, selfie cameras do and of course uh, uh, when you're uh, using it this way if we put it into flex mode then the controls uh, you know appear at the bottom of the screen there um, we can use the phone itself as its own tripod so when you're doing your um, you know your vlogging your live streaming uh, whatever you like uh, or just uh, taking a selfie or a group selfie with a wider shot um, you know you can just stick that on a flat surface and away you go I, I, I said I wasn't going to um, show you a whole lot of uh, 
um, folding phone tricks because we've sort of done that before, but you can never resist uh, once you once you pick this thing up. So, uh, yep, that's uh, the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. As you can see, they've uh, made some significant improvements there. And uh, the, I, I, actually, I will tell you one little uh, quirk that annoyed me. So the fingerprint sensor is on the is here on the um, screen switch you turn it on I did have that set uh, for the cover screen as well as when you open the phone but I found that when you pull it out of your pocket and you're holding it because this is so small you know, you're generally um, you know your hands going against it um, and often it would say that you've tried, had too many attempts at using the fingerprint sensor even though you hadn't even tried to open it up yet and then you've got to wait for 30 seconds to use it again so I turn that off and I just do the face unlock now which actually works really well even though the cameras when you look at it that way are upside down still will unlock that cover screen for you so that's good uh, the other interesting thing is that uh, it will, while this phone does charge wirelessly uh, you will need a, a, a fast wireless charger um, something in that 15 watt range probably uh, I've got a few sort of older lower wattage uh, wireless chargers that won't charge this phone uh, wireless I mean you've got USB, uh, USB-C obviously uh, so that works um, and you will need a charger because the battery life uh, on this phone is one of its weaknesses uh, uh, it's not as good as a lot of other uh, normal size flagships which of course this does become um, once you unfold it as it turns from 3.4 inches to 6.7 so yeah other than that uh, fantastic device uh, I've shown you some of the cool tricks and um, yeah it's definitely a very uh, fun phone to use and convenient phone to stash in your pocket <laughs>